Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Let's play B. It's time to pump it up from under. Pump it up. Yeah. Pump it up. Mics are working. I hope everybody's pumped up. I am now. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good Monday, everybody. Hope you're having fun out there and hope it stopped snowing wherever it was. Stop sending those texts in about snowing. I don't want to hear about that anymore. <laughs> it's snowing in Puyallup. My wife texted me. Stop that. Yeah. Let's, get to oh. our, let's get to our contestant today. We've got Matt in Linwood. Matt, are you there? I, yes, I am. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. For those playing at home, Matt will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Matt, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I am ready. Starting in 1975, which credit card company's slogan was, don't leave home without it? Um, Discover. No. Visa. No. MasterCard. No. Which president Uh, was known as Old Hickory? Old Hickory. Um, pass. Brett Michaels was the object of desire in which VH1 reality show? Oh, uh, oh my God. Um, pass. Uh, I'll I'll think of it. (laughs) What what was the last video game console Sega released in the United States? Dreamcast. Uh, yes. Who was the, who, uh, also host of the TV show Extra? Who was the lead singer of Sugar Ray? Oh, God, what's his name? Um... Pass. With, with sports leagues, what does NBA stand for? National Basketball League. No. Oh, uh, National Basketball Association. Yes. Which country is the band U2 from? Uh, Scotland, no. Ireland. Ireland, yes. In regards to Sherlock Holmes, what is Dr. Watson's first name? Um... Will? No. One, two, three, correct. Uh-huh. Oh, not uh, the greatest performance. <laughs> nope, not the greatest one, but I mean, there have been worse, and Steve hasn't uh, been doing good, at least for this Monday. Uh, I don't really uh, know if he did. Oh, he did lose last uh, week a couple times as well. I'm not sure which days. It's a very accurate. Please. I'm just like looking at the papers, and there was a loss or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure because I don't put the names of the dates on there. But uh, no, it's not. why would you? Yeah, no. So, Steve, you have some sort of decline going on, probably. Probably. So, yeah. So, uh, good luck on that. <laughs> One loss. 
And I got eight right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> are you ready now? Oh, yeah. Do this. Starting in 1975, which credit card company's slogan was, don't leave home without it? American Express. Yes. Which president was known as Old Hickory? Oh, uh, clearly our 23rd president, President Dickory Doc. No. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt? No. Uh, Eisenhower? No. Lincoln? No. Brett Michaels was the object of desire in which VH1 reality show? Oh, my favorite of all the reality dating shows, Rock of Love. Yes. What was the last video game console Sega released in the United States? Sega! Dreamcast! Yes. Also the host of the TV show Extra, who is the lead singer of Sugar Ray? Mark McGrath. Yes. With sports leagues, what does the NBA stand for? National Basketball Association. Yes. Which country is the band U2 from? Ireland. Yes. In regards to Sherlock Holmes, what is Dr. Watson's first name? Emma. No. <laughs> uh, Sherlock? No. John? Uh, yes. In wow. the 80s horror film, The Shining wow. is set in what U.S. state? Oh, New York? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You win. Yes. Seven to three. Sorry about that, Matt. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you, my friend. Have a great day. Ah, good sport there. Another one, Oh, yeah. You lucked out with that Sherlock Holmes question. That was amazing. I just said a generic name and got so lucky. Well, and I job. totally... And I totally forgot it. And I would, I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't think of it, couldn't think of it. And it's it's John. Yeah, of it's course just, it is. It's just John. Yeah. Of course, it would be really fun if there was a Sherlock Holmes and then also a Sherlock Watson as well. But uh, not, not the case uh, in this one. Uh, the one that you did not get correct. Also, Matt did not get correct. Which president was known as Old Hickory? That's, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, he's on your $20 bill. Mr. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson? Oh. Yeah. Old Hickory? Yeah. I have no idea why he was called Old Hickory, but I'm sure that there was a reason for it. I'll never remember that. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> right. uh, congratulations, Steve. You won. Good job, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, I'll tell you right now, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of candy that I love, but if you throw this on the table, I won't touch it, and that is Twizzlers, but a lot of people do love Twizzlers. I, you know, dude, I'm, I'm the same. I'm not a really a big licorice guy. If it's the only thing that's available, like if I'm tired and driving and I had a bag of like licorice or a Twizzlers, I'd, all right, fine. Like red vines, Twizzlers, not my thing, really. Hey, you know, I've had some, if you will, gourmet licorice because my wife's friend is a crazy licorice lover. And so she gets this fancy licorice. And I like that. But like the Twizzlers red vine, that doesn't do anything for me. But for some people, they're going to be very excited because Twizzlers is coming out with a brand new mystery flavor this summer. Ooh, is it sour Twizzlers? That'd be fantastic. Do they even do that? Because I would, I would actually try that. That's a great idea. Because I hate Mike and Ike's, but I, I like um, Zours, which are just sour versions of them. Oh yeah, they got sweet and sour Twizzlers, but yeah. and oh, they're they filled. Oh, I've never even heard of such a thing. Yeah, they have. Uh, they're tangy on the inside, so <laughs> oh, just like Steve. Mm. I need to try these. Yeah. Now, this new flavor, though, this uh, this is beyond what Rev is talking about. I don't know if there's going to be a contest. I feel like this should all, everyone's got a contest now to come up and help decide their new flavor. Uh, but we know the color. So the new flavor, we don't know, but we know the new Twizzler color, which, of course, you know, they're trademark red. But these are going to be purple Twizzlers. Oh, they better be great. Yeah, right? That's what you would think. Maybe raspberry sometimes can be like a purplish, maybe? I thought there was blue raspberry all of the time. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you're this right. So, I, I, yeah, if it's so not it's, grape, then they should just stop. I have to agree with that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about grape licorice. I would like to try it, because I like anything that's grape flavored. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, then. Like bubble gum. Diamond tab. Yep. Uh, <laughs> did you say diamond tab? Yeah, when yeah, I'm home. Did. That's the only, that's why I can't eat grape stuff is because of like the diamond tab when I was a that's kid. So it just ruined it for me. Like any kind of gummies, grapes, yeah. grape I feel like grapes. I'm listening to Forrest Gump tell us yeah. all the kind of grapes that he likes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, juice, soda. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Forrest. <laughs> Run, get yourself your grape Twizzlers, Forrest. Run. <laughs> it's just like a bag of Twizzlers. Yeah, it sure is. Well, it can't be grape because apparently they did like a limited edition grape flavor like years ago. Well, maybe they're bringing well, it back. What else is purple? Wine. 
Wine, wine Twizzlers. Twizzlers. They're trying to get so you know. adults to drink. Oh. Hard pass on that. Yeah, box wine Twizzlers, ladies and gentlemen. It's Night a new flavor. Vicky may be onto something, though. There's a lot of millennials and maybe some, you know, Zs that would be like, I would drink wine Twizzlers or I would eat wine Twizzlers. However, I got to do it. Somebody said, what about Blackberry? Could be Blackberry or, or, like maybe a, that, or right. a mixed berry. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, that's what I was thinking instead of raspberry. I think blackberry was the purplish I was thinking of. Here's a weird thing. On the Twizzlers website, they already have rainbow Twizzlers, which all of them have, like, they have a bunch of different colors, and purple's already included as grape. Okay, now they're just really messing with So this. then what is, then? so it's a new flavor that's going to be purple, though, that... Eggplant. Like what? Eggplant, oh, eggplant oh. Twizzlers. It's going to yeah. taste like dong. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. that's the mystery. It's going to taste like dong, ladies and gentlemen. I, well, there you go. Looking online also, I've seen some random I, ones that uh, also say wildberry. Huh. Which is blueberry, raspberry, and blackberry all mushed together. It's, all it's wild. wild. <laughs> we lost our mind. Whoa. Yeah, it's, probably, it's yeah. probably like Airheads, you know, the, the mystery flavor one where it's literally just a mishmash of whatever was the last one in their machine. Oh, those are the best. If so, it's great, man, you could dip it in peanut butter and have like a peanut butter and jelly kind of thing. Going. Oh, they already no, have grape, you. Steve. It's not going to be great. It's got to be great. It can't be if it's already a flavor. But they're not they're not offering it as its own thing. It's only part of the rainbow mix. So that's what they're gonna do. Hey guys, uh, you know, now you don't gotta buy the rainbow mix. That's our secret summer flavor. This would be the world's dumbest mystery if it's just great. Yeah, You're I right. agree with you hundred percent. Uh unless they do like what people do where they put a flavor that isn't even matching the color, like they make it lime. Because they Ew. really can make it lime flavored and be purple. No, you're right. They could be any it could be any flavor, really. Yeah. We like all watermelon right. for all we know. Plum. Plum. There's something else that's Plum. Purple. Ooh. Oh, good that's call. That. Or on that same note, prune. No. No. <laughs> well, I guess old people do love Twizzlers. So. Right. And they, they would find, hey, old person, you constipated? Try our new. <laughs> Dude, my mom loves Twizzlers and licorice, so that would not okay. surprise me. Well, there you go. Plum and prunes, what it's going to be. <laughs> so you guys then don't have like, you know, there's that always that debate between Twizzlers and red vines. Red no. vines all the way, hundred percent. To me, it's it's like the same thing. I don't oh, care. What? The only time I liked Twizzlers was when they did the pillows, where you it was like like a bunch of the shoestrings put together, and you got oh to like yeah, like them little apart. ropes. And yeah, because then it's like little like candy spaghetti. Yeah, candy spaghetti. I would always use red vines. I'd eat candy spaghetti. I love there that. you go. <laughs> Let's get that going, people. <laughs> we are so mature. You're supposed to take a bite out of each end of the red vine, and then you know use it as a straw. Yeah, for your uh, Dr Pepper or anything. I used to oh, yeah, drink that's, it with milk. That's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I drank it with milk. I'm getting my calcium. All right, well, good job. At least you drank it with milk. I'm thinking of the Dr. Pepper boy over there going, I want to take a Twizzler and then make it and put it in my Dr. Pepper. There's nothing wrong with that. And then I'm going to take some frosting and just freebase it. Oh, good call. <laughs> It is time for listeners on the loose. Hey, maybe you know what this new purple flavor is going to be. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. You pick the topic. You guide the show. We got your calls. We got your texts at 917 on the rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on the rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. It's Listeners on the Loose, brought to you by Spartan Plumbing. Listeners on the Loose, where you pick the topic, you guide the show at 206 421 Rock. You can text us at 77999, and you can voice whatever it is you choose to voice. But remember, Steve does have one rule it's a simple rule, BJ, to show some energy and bring it. Otherwise, you're just going to have to gong you. And then say goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Uh, somebody said, hey, stop the presses. Have you guys seen the latest menu for crumble cookies? <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Wow. So funny. Every okay. Monday, I look forward to seeing the menu. You started a real problem here, Steve. Yes. And the only answer to that problem is buying more cookies, BJ. Yeah, that's of course. Yes, so feed good. the addiction. Yeah. Either get rid of it or feed it. But you know, those are your two options. We fed the addiction um, uh, over the weekend. I got the peanut butter one that was available, and then, dude, the best one oh, so far of all man. the crumble cookies I've had. It was a cheesecake crumble cookie with a raspberry drizzle on it. Oh, so gosh. that really, you, so because oh. you were anticipating that would be amazing, and you're saying it's the best one you've ever had uh, of all the crumble cookies I've had so far. It's been the best. Wow! One. And I'm looking at this week's flavors, BJ. And I already found the one that you're going to go nuts over. Okay, it's a key lime pie. 
Oh, oh dang. A chili yeah. graham cracker cookie. And so every week they put out new flavors and they change them out. The only ones that stay the same are the pink sugar cookie and the regular chocolate chip, which was sold out when I went there over the weekend. Uh, but the key lime pie, that that's a graham cracker cookie, key lime pie filling, topped with a fresh lime. Whipped cream and graham cracker crumbs, BJ. That does look amazing. That is, and 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 it's it's got all the right ingredients. Yes, I would love to try that. The next one they have is the Lucky Charms one, which nice. has vanilla marshmallow frosting and Lucky Charms on it. Oh, oh people just yes. love those marshmallows. Oh yeah. yes, man. I don't know, man. Oh, and St. Patrick's Day. This one. Yeah. Oh, that oh, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. yeah, you can't put corned beef on a cookie. Well, you can, but. Well. But well, you really and want to? No. thanks to Becky and my bag of Lucky Charm marshmallows and no cereal, just the marshmallows, I can turn any cookie into a Lucky Charms cookie. <laughs> I love that every Monday now our crumble cookie update. Uh, Snickers, a Snickers one, a warm peanut butter cookie with uh, with actual chopped Snickers on it. Mm. So all of these right now, I'd be going for this. Yep. Is a good week for me. Oh crap! This one looks really good too. A mint brownie. <laughs> Damn. All right. This is a good week. Yeah, this is a good week for crumble cookies. This could be the best crumble cookie week ever. It's a bad week for my waistline. (laughs) Yeah, that's a fact. (laughs) That looks like all of them look really good. Well, that's over the weekend again, man. Line out the door. (laughs) Puyallup is just where it's happening, man. It's a party over there. Was it Sunrise Village? Is that the name of the... Sunrise uh, Village, yep. Yeah, Sunrise Village has got oh, so much going on over there. That place is probably going to triple its action because of the fact we talked about all the great things you can find at Sunrise Village in Puyallup. They, they, someone even said they need to make a BJ and Migs cookie with the amount of time you guys talk about the crumble cookies. Ooh. Well, heck, I mean, Wicked Wicked Pizza made you a pizza, Steve. I think, uh, you know what, the, being the king of Puyallup you are, the cookie is next. That's right. <laughs> and someone did ask, hey, what is this about a mixed pizza? And yeah, if you go to Wicked Pie starting today, uh, they wanted to thank me for all the nice things I've said about them over the years. And uh, Wicked Pie Pizza is an awesome place in Puyallup. And they now have a barbecue pizza uh, named The Migs. Barbecue chicken, bacon, onion, pineapple, fresh cilantro, mozzarella, and a barbecue sauce base. So... That's perfect, and it goes for a good, show, a good cause, like you said, yep. Motley Zoo, and they, they, they're great, great, great people. Yep, so just Steve, donating money to, the, to Motley Zoo, uh, the, the, the animal shelter, yeah. So, Steve, here's your problem. What's that? Well, if it does happen, which I believe it will, first you're, you know, you're, at, the, you're at the mall, South Hill, and, now, and, and you got a pizza after you. Of course, Trapper's made a sushi after you. I think it's only inevitable that there will be a cookie after you, and I'm sure Crumble's probably going to be the one to do it, but you have to pick a flavor. But it's going to have to be a special cookie. Any ideas at all? Oh, it had to be a barbecue sauce cookie with chicken on it. And- <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, why, 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 what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. What was I thinking? Of course it would be that. Oh, that's a great question. I think I would have to go peanut butter. Yeah, that's what but I said. Yeah. Yeah. With a peanut butter drizzle. Well, they just did that last week. So what am I doing? You know what? I can. I, how about you throw a little bacon on there? Make, maybe a peanut butter. Well, no, peanut butter and bacon. I know maple and bacon would be great. A maple cookie with a little bacon bits in it. Interesting. Yeah, but, you know, and of course that's have the maple glaze. But peanut butter does seem... What else do we have with peanut butter? Ooh, a Maybe. peanut butter and jelly cookie. Yeah, oh, there you go. There we go. Yeah. 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 Right. Peanut butter cookie with like a, a, a Welch's or grape Concord. Yeah, drizzle on it. I don't know how you have to turn that so it could be drizzled, but figure it out. That's <laughs> okay, we'll figure, figure it out. Right. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Maybe like a peanut butter frosting and then the grape drizzle. You and, know, so you... Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe a peanut butter it. cookie. Hey, look at you. Put it on whatever you want. <laughs> you know, it's your cookie. You do whatever you want, buddy. Somebody wanted to know, since we're talking about food, uh, did BJ make it to the Dick's Burger truck on Friday? Yeah, sadly, I did not because I had plans and I was trying to figure out a way to fit it in. And I couldn't fit it in. But, you know, I do believe, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, let me see if uh, Sarah will give us an update. Um, because I know that... Um, Jay Rubs was planning on doing it, and he was not going to be able to eat the burgers. He was just going to get the burgers, save them, so he could have them the next day. So I'm uh, Sarah. Did Jay Rubs make it to the Dick's truck? Because I didn't get a chance to. We made it to the Dick's truck, uh, but the line was insane. Was it? It was. I've heard that there's been some places that where they've gone, and it's been like hundreds of people. There wasn't that many, but it, there were maybe 20, 30 people in line. And we were like, no, we are not standing wow. in the cold for a Dick's Burger. Sorry, babe. Not even worth it for your pops. 
No. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he's done for you. Definitely not. Now, here's the thing, though. There is a pretty decent burger joint on the island called Haps. Did you end up going there? Because that's what I would have done. I would like, oh, if I can't get dicks, I'll go get a burger somewhere. Well, no, it's funny, actually, because his work got them, I don't know if it was Five Guys or some other burger place. So we already had a burger that he was saving for the next day. So I was like, you're fine with one burger. We don't need... A lot more. And we have frozen White Castle burgers in our freezer always. You do? Oh, always. What? Oh, yeah. That's just downstairs. It is. Yeah. Not That's for you, man. I, 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 it's I, his I, house. It's his White Castle. <laughs> yeah, I have lived in our fridge, though. <laughs> oh, man. I got to get I gotta get rights. I got to get passage or something to that fridge. I didn't know that, that, that there were White Castle in the freezer. Oh, yeah. So I was like, babe, you don't need more burgers. I um, mean, you always need more burgers. Truth. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, but I was, I was proud that the Dick's... Food truck was really busy, you know. Well, hey, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, look, there's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a great burger, Dude. and I can't wait for Crossroads to open up that because then, then I'll get it whenever I want. BJ, you mentioned this Haps place. What's the Haps with Haps, man? Because this is like <laughs> this. This Vicky's showing me pictures of this place, and it looks amazing. Yeah, oh, that I know, dude. Haps is the, and it's an old converted 76, it's an old converted 76 gas station. And they've tried, they tried a fish joint in there one time. And then eventually Haps came in with burgers. And I don't know if you still can get some fish and chips there. I, I don't, I can't remember. Oh, it's a, strictly a burger place. It's just strictly burgers. Yeah. Can't get anything else. All right. Um, Whoa. and they're good. Oh, it looks so really good. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking online, yeah, just seeing their caramelized onion patty melt. Get in my belly. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, Steve, but you know what? We do have one thing. We finally got a thing. We got haps. Burgers we got and haps. Taps. Haps, you guys, burgers, and taps. If you guys ever want to come by the island and have lunch at haps, it's on me. How about that? Okay. Wow. And I, yeah. We'll be there around 1030 today. You'll see you then. <laughs> except today. Today, of course, oh, except today. Oh, yeah, wow. today won't work. I'm, so, I'm super busy. Sorry. Hey, someone said, hey, Sarah expects BJ to pay for her wedding and stuff, but she can't even get a burger for her old man. That's crap. Ooh. Yeah, now you know my life. Text her. Preach. It was really cold outside. You want me to wait outside in the cold? Well, but then you get to get inside where it's warm in a home that your father pays for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Preach, brother, preach. <laughs> okay, if they ever come to Mercer Island again, I'll get you a Dick's Burger. Fine. Yeah, okay. Oh, geez, thanks. I'm glad you made You're the welcome. sacrifice. I'm not going to travel anywhere, though. <laughs> not going to go to Seattle to get you one. That's no, too much. No, yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask you to go to Crossroads very much. Believe me, when they open that Dick's in Crossroads, you're going there. Dude, that's going to be Bedlam for a while. Oh, I know. That's why I'm sending her. I mean, you know, that the first probably three or whatever, four months is probably gonna be a pain in the neck to try to even try to get any absolutely so i'm gonna send sarah it's good to call Thanks. it's a good to call it's a good to call 206-421 rock text us at 77999 it's listeners on the loose you pick the topic you guide the show 206-421 rock text us at 77999 we got your calls we got your texts we'll take those at 933 on the rock bj and migs mornings on the rock 99.9 kisw Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies comes superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? From bullets to battleships and everything in between, it's machinery of warfare. Plus, from the gross Ew. to the gourmet, mm. see how that in flight meal lands on your tray table. On Secrets of Your Airline Food, it's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. 
99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. We got some uh, text messages about the Grammys yesterday. I like this one. It says, I heard you guys talking about the Grammys. Migs, I have two words for you. Dua Lipa. Oh, yeah. I have no, what, what is that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a singer. She's a perf- artist and a pop singer. Yo, her performance was on a whole other level. It was just like... I, I don't even know how to describe what it was, but it was it was amazing. Like she at first looked like she was like wearing like some crazy gown, and in the middle of the performance, she just rips that part off, and now she's like wearing next to nothing. And it's just like, I even my wife was like, "Are you okay over there?" I was like, "Whoa!" Because <laughs> it was just like one of those things where you're just like completely blown away. You weren't expecting it, and she was oh, just doing wow. some real seductive dancing up there. And yeah, Vicky showed me a picture. Yeah. She kind of looks like Jasmine a little bit. The outfit she's got on. I don't know, but Dua Lipa is a pretty. Uh, She's, she's she's doing some good stuff out there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. She was, yeah. I can I can <laughs> see why you were performance, and you'll understand what I'm yeah. talking about. Like you don't need to listen to the music. So if you if you have a computer with no speakers, you don't need to even hear what she's singing about. It's just <laughs> do a leapa. Do a okay. leapa. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's that. There's yeah. She definitely she's definitely easy to watch. Yes. That's that's a very attractive woman. And and the music wasn't terrible. It was, it's just not my style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vicky showed me the video from the Grammys last night. And, oh, yeah, there are people out there shaking their hips. And, oh, yeah, she's got the formal outfit. And yeah, there it there comes up. Uh, and she's like, Whoa. hey, check out my booty. Damn. She yep, is, yep. Uh, all right, it's Lingerie Central. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right, Dua. Also, someone said, did you see uh, they did uh, WAP on the Grammys? They did. Oh, wow. How'd they do that? <laughs> Very creatively. Um, it was... And they figured out a way to do it so it wasn't just because when they first started playing the song, I'm like, oh man, here we go. It's just going to be a bunch of like silent pauses or, you know, like they're going to dump out of them. But they kind of skirted around all the bad language and they definitely stayed at, away from the, the A and the P part of that WAP song. So what did they call it then? I mean, did they, was it, if, it, if they, they came up with a different name? No, it was kind of like the, that part would go and go like wet, eh, 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 kind of like that. They just kind of like made sounds after the wet part. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but some people are like giving like, I can't believe they performed that song on television and this, that. What about the children? And I'm oh, like, the, but the, oh, children the children don't even know what it means if they didn't say the words. Right. And all, it's just. People are just, they're just dumb. And people are yeah. just dumb. Yeah. I mean, it was. It, it's like, it's oh. like if they, the kids don't know it. And then if they didn't use any of the bad words, nope. then you're the you're the one that knows it. And you're the one with the mind. You can make up anything. That's what you do with kids. You make them up until they're old enough. You can tell them, hey, this is what it means. But until then, you go, oh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it means what it says. What, uh, 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 you know, like when you come out of the shower, when you're maybe playing in the slip and slide, all of that. You can make it all up. Oh, you nailed it right there. Yeah. It sounded just like her, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I thought it did. Which one, Megan or who? Oh, yeah, I think I felt I sound more like the stallion, don't I? Yeah, oh yeah, you definitely BJ the stallion. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah. I'm just wondering what kids like, mommy, daddy. I want to see the Grammys. Like who? who like no kids. That, if you have a little kid, they're not going to let you watch the Grammys. Oh, Tatum was all about it. Like she's like, okay, after Masha the Bear, I want to watch the Grammys. It was, yeah. Oh yeah. That's really? What we do. Yeah. She got her ball ball gown on to watch. Like you know how people dress up for it. Oh yeah. Okay. For sure. Cool. Making yeah, sure. Yeah, I wore a tuxedo. Everything. Oh good. Yeah. Oh mm-hmm. nice. And am I, look, maybe I'm ignorant because, you know what, I definitely have, you know, I, 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 I make a good living, so maybe I'm ignorant. But are there only one screen households out there, really? I, I've got to imagine that with people and phones and tablets and, you know, televisions, you can get a, t- a small television for a reasonable price. I mean, what, who's sitting in, I mean, how are they going to have access to this that you wouldn't know as a parent? You know what I right. mean? Right. Uh, I, so, I, I, so we want to talk about burgers again, BJ. Nice. Oh, okay, back to Habs then. burgers. They said, "Funny you guys are talking about Habs." I was just pulling in to service their recycling container. They also serve chicken sandwiches. Oh yeah, that's. I knew they served something else, and the chicken is. Yeah, I've had. Now that he said that, I've had the chicken there before. It's good. Damn it, man! I need to go to this place. Uh yeah. Well, you know, like I said, lunch is on me. Just not today. And oh, tomorrow I think I'm busy too. But uh, we'll we'll get it. Hi, Wednesday. There. We'll see you on Wednesday then. Oh, Wednesday. Unfortunately, dude, it's Wacky Wednesday. You know that's my day. I've been super busy. <laughs> to what on Wacky Wednesday? <laughs> listen, no, I mean, hey, listen. I'm gonna have to edit that for the Grammys, but I'll tell you later. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Two zero six four two one rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. All right. Big question. I like yes, this one. Nothing to do with food. Nothing to do with wet things. Uh, it says, if you can have any movie do a sequel that has not done a sequel yet, what movie would it be? 
Oh, whoa. Gosh, I feel like every movie that I love has done a sequel and more. So, oh, wow. Because some movies are kind of, are they sequels? or Because, okay, the first one that popped in my mind is I'd like to see a sequel, and I was actually thinking about it over the weekend because someone put a tweet out there, and I agree 100%, is that I want to see a sequel to uh, Get Him to the Greek. Oh, but Get Him yeah. to the Greek is kind of a spinoff of Saving Silverman. Getting Sarah Marshall. That too. Yeah. Saving Private Ryan. It, 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 oh, jeez. <laughs> were they the same characters in that in, in both movies, though? I mean, I yes. think a sequel has... To, they really were? It, I don't think I realized that. Jonah Hill's wasn't. He was just kind of like this geeky guy, like waiter guy. Right. But Russell Brand's was. Right. Oh, it was, it was the So he was the only same character? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like picking up where he left off. Right. From oh. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. So oh. it's not really a sequel, though, because it's not... Spinoff. It's yeah. a spinoff, Yeah. And oh, I, don't, okay. I don't really consider it part of that. Like, I, I don't, I mean, Forgetting Sarah Marshall was a fine movie, but Get Him to the Greek was like one of my all time favorites. Sure. I agree with you, Steve, because in the world of television, that's, they don't call them sequels when a character gets their own show. They call it a spinoff. Right. Yeah. So I would like, like, Frasier was not a sequel of Cheers. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think that's a sequel. So you could then ask for a sequel to uh, get him to the Greek. You could ask for that if there if there's any way to like do it. I forget how the story ended. I can't remember how it ended. For the longest yeah, time, no. I mean, I, I love the movie, egg. but he makes it to the Greek and he does his performance right. and he's like, I want to be on stage. And then they like he starts his own, Jonah Hill starts his own record label. Remember? That's and right. Like, puts him back on. He becomes sober again. And I think that's where it ends. Well, they need to pick it back up. They do. They need a new record. Yep. I think I would like to see, you know, this is the first thing that came to my head because you mentioned Jonah Hill and another movie that I really love that he was in. I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to Moneyball because I really loved, I love baseball and I loved how that is. And it's so many years later since the book was written that I would love to see how they have to, like how teams have to fudge to do baseball now because rich teams adopted the money ball mentality. So all of a sudden it wasn't just the cheap teams that did it. Rich teams realized, oh, we'll use the same metrics and, and our money. And so now like, is there a new way to win? Make banging on trash cans ball or something like that. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, that's like a, that's, it's based on a true story. Yes. So it's kind of funny to think like the true story continues. So they can pick up wherever they left off. That's the first thing that came to mind, and it's only because so many of the movies I loved have already had, they have had sequels. Like, every Marvel movie pretty much has had a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, how, can any, does anything come to your mind, Vic? Uh, first one I thought of was Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, good I, call. Because I know they're going to be doing, like, a, not a sequel, but the, the prequel, if you will, of Furiosa. Which I'm like, okay, I don't care. I want to see Tom Hardy again, and uh, I want to see Charlize Theron again. But one, I just started browsing the internet and see what I can find. Uh, Goonies, I think, would be fun to get them all together again yeah. as adults and have their kids go on an adventure. Have their kids go on the save adventure. a story yeah. again mm-hmm. or something. But Sloth is no longer here, unfortunately. Oh. I don't know if you can do it without Sloth. Mm. Sorry, man. Or Baby Sloth. <gasps> Baby, Baby Sloth. Sloth. Oh, baby geez. sloth, do 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 do. <laughs> so baby Ruth, baby sloth. Aww. Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> okay. Danny wants Titanic. Titanic two, electric boo- boogaloo. <laughs> yeah, that one. What? The, yeah, but I mean, it's like Finding old, Nemo. Man. They're trying to find yeah, it that's in the it. water. Yeah, good yeah. call. No, they could do it. They could do a whole new Titanic for twenty twenty one, and it's like a great new ship, but then it sinks again. Yeah, well, it's, it's just like Jura- it's like all the Jurassic Park movies. It's like you realize if you f with the dinosaurs, they're going to f with you back. Yeah, I kind of. You know, so, yeah. I would like to see a sequel to Titanic just to watch people get pissed off about it. Yeah, because- and then Leonardo DiCaprio's frozen, like so he like comes back to life because he was just frozen, and then it got you know global oh, warming, we're so ruining. he comes back okay. to life. Okay. So oh, this yeah, one's so not even a, out. Yeah, this one's not a true story. This one is just straight up just a fictional tale. Yeah, exactly. Why not? No one's ever done that before. I don't think where you're taking like. Something that, I mean, except for Bill and Ted's, but, you know, <laughs> eh, some of that's true and some of that's not. It's kind of a historical film. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of, oh, some of it's not true. I thought the whole thing was actually true. Well, some of the names, you know, they're, oh, yeah. they, they weren't changed to protect the innocent. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Rev? Uh, thinking about it, I really would love to, because it's been in the news recently, I would love to see a sequel to District 9. Which was Ooh. what, like, God, it's like what, like twelve years old at this point in time. But it had the cool, like, bugs, the alien bugs. And Steve, stuff. you, uh, you remember the movie Chappie? Yeah, it's the same dude that that the same director that made Chappie. I'm uh, pretty sure I saw District, District 9. Nine. Yeah, District Nine is a it's a it was a South African movie, right? It, yeah, basically, mm-hmm. yeah, and 
It was good. Yeah, that you know where that, that I I think you're right. I would lo- I wouldn't mind seeing what happens next because uh, you know spoiler alert. But the dude in the movie was promised to be fixed, mm-hmm. and but yeah. he had to wait to be fixed. So that would be kind of cool to see. Absolutely, I'd love to see that. That's a good call. I think I, I yeah I would watch that. Oh, Definitely. somebody texted saying that because they've always wanted a District Nine sequel, and they recently announced that they'll finally be making one. Nice. Really? Whoa. Yeah, it was well done. It was a very well done movie. I'm in for that one. I'm, well, all right, I'm kind of stoked, man. Yeah, because we humans did not turn out to be good people in that one. Do uh, we ever? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah you know, now you mention it. <laughs> one that they, they've they been teasing for years is uh, Beetlejuice 2. I wish they would do a Beetlejuice 2. With, like, with everyone coming back as the same characters and stuff. So That'd be got. cool. Bill Murray. Think, well, yeah. The dad, I think, is no longer with us, but I, I think everybody Murray. else is still with us. Not yeah, well, Bill Murray. Um, no, Michael, 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 Keaton. Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael yeah. Keaton. Winona Ryder. Yes. Yeah. And Alec the rest. Baldwin. And all the rest. Yes. Yeah. Alec Baldwin. That'd be. Oh my gosh, Alec Baldwin. Well, you could do a Beetlejuice yeah, with is. Winona being the parent and her, her having kids. Yeah. Because you know, and you know, and she's just remember, remembering when she was young. It was weird. There was this weird character really affected my life, and then there it, he comes into the the kids' world, like her kids' world. You could do it that way. All right, there we go. We've come up with the kids. We're gonna, you know, call one owner writer. <laughs> Plus, you're wrong, dude. As soon as I think of one, I'm like, oh wait, there was a sequel for that. Oh wait, oh, yeah, it's like it's it's kind of scary to think like pretty much any movie that's ever had any kind of success. Of course, they're gonna make a sequel too. But yeah. most of the time, the sequels aren't great, or you don't have the original actors because they realize, yep, this script is not good, so I'm not gonna come back. So they need to have good sequels come back. Right. Or yeah. sometimes you wait so long and you're so excited for it, and then all of a sudden it's just not nearly as awesome as you yeah. hoped. I mean, I what I would love is a really good X Men trilogy. They tried twice. <laughs> Man, good luck with that, dude. I'm done with X Men. They gotta change the name to like Z Men or something like that because like I just lose track of which ones I've seen, and then I'm all confused. Oh yeah, dude, it's very confusing. But you yeah. know what? Hey, let me just tell you, anything that says X Men three, there's no confusion. It's not gonna be good. Pretty much, yeah. They yeah. start off really, really strong, and then just turn into poo. It is fascinating how that happens. It's like, I mean, you you were able to write a good first one, and it's not like there's not enough great source material out there that you can't figure it out, and yet somehow they can't figure it out. Somebody, I'm shocked the Rev didn't say this one. Someone said, how about Scott Pilgrim versus The World, a sequel oh. to that? No, it doesn't need a sequel. That movie's perfect anyway. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, then. I don't right, know how well, very protective Rev is. Wow, Rev was yeah, like, I don't need another one. I can just watch the same one over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, Groundhog Day. <laughs> Which I do. Oh, they should make a sequel to Groundhog Day. <laughs> but I think that's perfect the way it is. I mean, hey, boy, what's going to happen? I mean, he learned the lesson of his life that he was a douche, and if he wasn't in so much a douche, his life would be good. Unless they troll all of us and they just do the movie note for note exactly the same. Right. <laughs> that yeah, would actually well, be amazing. Uh, some people call that Star Wars or The Force Awakens. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> All right, well, while we're trying to figure out that answer, there is another question that really needs to be asked. What do Ryan Castle and a crystal ball have in common? I'm going to tell you at 949 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What do Ryan Castle and a crystal ball have in common? Well, you know, BJ, I am kind of psychic. It's true. I used I used to uh, used to bang Miss Cleo, so I got uh, some of her psychic. To bang Miss Cleo. Me. You know what? I'm not psychic because I had no idea that statement was coming. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. It's crazy. Right. The nineties were I got, crazy. I got psychic through uh, uh, yeah. osmosis. That's what it is. Osmosis, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One texture says Steve sees himself in both. Steve rubs both. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Right. Uh, I have mentioned thanks, this before. Thanks, you've, got, you've got to be careful with you know certain glass things in your car. And uh, firefighters in Wisconsin responded to a fire Monday, uh, last Monday, because uh, this entire living room went up in flames because of a crystal ball. They had a crystal ball on the table. The sun shone, shone through and basically lasered their couch. And, uh, yeah, this heat ray set the couch on fire. 250,000. pipes, too. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about the crack so pipe I've, uh, So I've heard. Yeah. All right. Well, okay, then. So no crack pipe crystal balls in your house. <laughs> okay. But Ryan Castle, he is allowed in your house as long as he brings a 12-pack. BJ and 
Miggs play of the day. You only pick one person on the show that you're going to trust your money with. Who is it going to be? You know what? I feel like it would be Vicky. Because I know Vicky, does she, you can't give her, you know how Vicky doesn't even take anything? Yeah. So I don't think she would steal anything. You know, she doesn't even take presents when she deserves them. She's still like, I don't want this. It's like, but you really deserve it. You're like really good at your job. I didn't hear this. You, you know, know what's like, funny about that? You have two children that work I on know. the show and you didn't even pick one of them. <laughs> I was going to say, sorry, Joe Sarah. There goes that inheritance. Think about it. DJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Well, b- bankruptcy costs, of course, vary depending on what type of uh, case you're filing. There's a certain amount of, of, of court costs and other out-of-pocket costs that you're going to have in any case. Uh, the, the filing fees in a bankruptcy case are, are about $300, whether you file Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Uh, one of the things to watch out for when you're shopping for bankruptcy attorneys or, or looking at the different cost options is that a lot of times, especially the really cheap uh, places, don't tell you up front about all the court costs and whatnot that you're going to have to pay in addition to the attorney fees. So make sure that you get the full picture when you're talking, when you're comparing prices of bankruptcy lawyers on what the attorney fees are, how much your court costs are going to be so that you can really make a true comparison. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com.